What's happening beautiful people? My name is Dirty Mike and welcome back to The Journey, where I'm building different squads as we progress through divisional play, get involved in some tournaments, and as always, I'm dropping feedback on which players really overperform and then other guys that kind of drop the ball. A little bit of a disappointment in today's video. We've got the cheapest long shot squad. And before I get started, if you guys need ultimate team coins, check out FIFAcoinstoday.com. The links will be in the description. And make sure to use the code MICHS09, M-I-C-H-S-09, in order to get an additional 10% off every single purchase. So I've decided to roll with the 4-4-2, the classic formation. And we've got a bit of a three-way hybrid between the Russians, the Italians, and the Germans leading the way. And this squad is a discount buy. If you're going to the mall, you don't have a lot of money, you need some Christmas gifts, this is the squad you go with. And they cost me about 13,800 coins. And like I said, anyone can replicate this, remake it, try it out for themselves. And if you do, let me know if you switch the formation. Drop a comment and let me let me know how you think the squad worked out for you. And I apologize for not including the individual player cards. I usually do that in all the intros and I just forgot to film it. No excuses, my mistake. As we start out game number one, and I think we need a draw or a victory in order to go up a division or to win the title in division four and we get a goal from the corner kick and my opposition is unhappy i think he has a good right to be i don't typically use the ksi exploit very often but i always look on the radar to see if they're defending it or if they're not and i've been able to catch some people slipping yep and we're getting promoted heading into division three it should be interesting to see how this squad fares as we progress with them and you guys have been smashing that like button and I really appreciate all the support this series has been getting. Uh, if we could hit 250 to 300 likes on this video, that would be great. Let's hit that as a target. Let's aim as a target for the holidays. And I hope everyone has a great Christmas or whatever you celebrate. Uh, I hope everything goes over well. And look at that goal. Oh, Paulinho. Oh, my goodness. Just picking that out of nowhere. This is a fantastic finish. And this is something I really like about Next Gen. The way the ball is shaped and it curves and the shooting animations are on point. They're second to none the best it's ever been and I've got a great question for everyone today I've been thinking a lot and I want to know who's your favorite left-footed players been using more of them and this other second question kind of correlates with that is what do you feel about these two-star weak-footed players I I've been able to use two-star weak foot players on the wings okay sometimes even in the midfield but when I get them to that striker spot it just it always ends up biting me in the butt I'll end up with an opportunity in the 90th minute to win a match and it's on their weak foot and they can't finish as we start to tear up this guy in game number two, he had that five in the back, and I really dislike that. But this is, is almost as good enough to be a tutorial, the goals I'm scoring, because the way you beat a five in the back formation is you're trying to find space between the outside defender and the first center back. And I had a couple diagonal chips that are just perfect right out of the playbook and then whipped it in for crosses. Not the prettiest of goals, but... Like I said, unfortunately, when you're playing against five at the back, typically your opponent is bringing back the midfielder, so it's actually looking like a seven defender with three on the counter. It's just an ugly, ugly situation. I would never, I would never recommend uh, playing five at the back, and I don't enjoy playing against it. It's just not fun. It's not making for the best match, especially an ultimate team. And you see people use it a lot. And look, oh, what a finish! Oh my goodness, Fabio, I love it. I love it. And I was really impressed with him. He climbed well. He was strong on the ball. Skill moves uh, came out very quickly. The exit speed. And look at the finishing. Can't complain about his shot. He's had a sick shot the last few years in FIFA. And I've been using him on and off this year. And he should be either a super sub or have him in a lot of different squads. Because he just offers something a little bit different with the way that he can connect. And the tank of a shot that he has as we head into game number three. Starting out good. We got two victories. But let's talk about this team. I've just been ignoring all that. We've got I Igor Annette. I've talked about him plenty in um, multiple videos. I think he's a very hidden miss keeper, but I, we just didn't have any choices in this case. Then we got Kaladin and then Anyukov, the two Russians. And you have to have Kaladin, if that's how you pronounce his name. You have to have him on your squad if you're building a long shot team. He's hands down the best long shot kick taker, whatever you want to classify anything as in terms of center backs i think he has an 86 for long shots which is crazy podolsky rushing down the wing what are you gonna do whips in across can we get a finish ah that that had to drop we need to get this comeback underway i kind of got a uh a bad i guess a bad run of luck in this match the way that his first goal was very aids like and i guess he almost added a second too he banged down the crossbar off not a yolo cross he definitely knew where it was heading but i'm just not happy about it and then we have westerman and panda are the other two defenders and i was really impressed with the defense i know we're seeing a lot of opportunities here my opposition is creating but their positioning was great 
you gotta remember my defense was very slow i had nobody on the starting 11 uh, past maybe a 75 for sprint speed so that's pretty good i'm talking about the defense here nowhere else but uh usually if you have four slow defenders you're gonna struggle and oh my opponent makes a big mistake he did a panic tackle he got excited towards the end of the match he blows the game hands me a goal in the 87th minute we get a little bit sweaty with it and i'll take it i feel like i deserve to draw that match i definitely should have put home some opportunity but if you don't take your chances fifa doesn't always reward you and then in the midfield, we've got Cruz and Diamante in the uh, center mid positions. Like both of them, unfortunately, Cruz, his speed does become an issue. Uh, I think that he's lacking some of the creativity that I'd like to have in the final third. However, Diamante is the opposite. He does everything well. He's a prime time player. Ah, damn it. I don't think I've picked up a red card on YouTube, but times are changing. And that was just so dumb. At the beginning of the match, it was risky. It was mistimed. It was dirty. You name it, I deserved it. But... That puts me in a big hole uh, in this in this match. Uh, we started off strong, as I was saying, with those wins, but uh, things are going to get interesting here now that we're an entire man short. And he's got Sturge up front. The sweat is real. But Diamante has the shot. He can facilitate. As you see him just drop off a beautiful assist there. I like the way that he comes out of skill moves. He's got a left foot from heaven. And... Uh, then we have Kendreva. I don't know much to say about him. Podolski's been okay. I would prefer him on the right side of the pitch. You can use the quick tactic where you swap wings, and then he becomes a right winger for you, which is really nice because he has a cannon of a shot. I just didn't get many opportunities, and this was probably the play of the match. I can't believe I missed that with Draxler. And I am using Draxler and Fabio up front. Uh, I think that that partnership actually worked out really well. Draxler is one of those guys that will make a difference anywhere you put him on the pitch. I would actually recommend trying him as a striker. I know he's an incredible center attacking midfielder. You could probably play him as a center forward and everything would work out really good. He's got good size, five-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. Ah, and we're going to concede. Ah, I was playing so well versus my opposition, even a man down, but I gave up the goal. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Twitter at Mike's on USA. I have a lot more content coming for you ASAP ASAP.